Nearly 3,000 innocent people were killed when Al Qaeda hijackers crashed four planes into the Twin Towers, the Pentagon, and a field in southwest Pennsylvania. President Joe Biden, Vice President Kamala Harris, and former President Donald Trump all attended a ceremony today in Lower Manhattan. Republican vice presidential nominee J.D. Vance also is in the city today to pay his respects. Here in mid-Michigan, communities throughout the region are holding events and memorials today, also honoring 9-11 victims and their families. In Lansing, flags are being placed around the Michigan September 11th Memorial to honor each person from our state who lost their life that day. Acting Labor Secretary Julie Sue joined Mayor Andy Shore, the chiefs of the Lansing Fire and Police Departments, and other first responders for a ceremony this morning. We didn't have an obligation to ensure that the legacy of the fly that lost our carrier and we continue to serve with honor, dignity, with integrity to honor those that we lost. This was one of many events taking place today. This afternoon, Lansing Catholic High School Athletics will honor the victims with its 9-11 sled push. Participants are invited to push weighted football sleds 3,000 yards, marking the approximate number of lives lost in these attacks. The event starts at 3.30 at Cougar Stadium. In the city of Jackson, there's an all-day blood drive. The annual Spirit of America blood drive formerly was held at Michigan International Speedway, but this year it's at the American One Event Center and runs until 6.30 this evening. Senator Gary Peters released a statement today saying in part, quote, On September 11, 2001, our nation experienced one of our darkest moments. As we remember this tragic anniversary and think of the families whose loved ones never came home, we must continue to stand together to solve the tough challenges of tomorrow and defend our freedoms for future generations.